Hey guys, I am here with The Wrap and Verge, and I'm very excited to be doing my very first selfie interview. As you can tell, I don't know what I'm doing. My name is Heather Donahue, and oh, oh, and I am from the show You're the Worst <laughs> on FX. It's a half hour uh, comedy, and I play Lindsay. Uh, basically, if I were to describe my character in one sentence, um, I would say Lindsay is a sassy, spontaneous, ballsy, um, very outrageous human being who does the most um, effed up S-H-I-T you will ever see. Um, what is the buzz about your show? I am so grateful to be on my show <clears throat> because um, the buzz about it is basically that it you have the same enjoyment as you would watching an, a romantic comedy, but we are not afraid to um, to hit the darker sides of life and reality, and it's the most honest, genuine, ballsy show on television created by the brilliant uh, Stephen Falk. So, watch it. Um, ooh, are you an Emmy noob? Yes. I have watched the Emmys on my couch. That's the extent of my involvement with the Emmys. Um, what was your breakout role? I would say Lindsay on You're the Worst. It's my favorite role I've ever played. Uh, did you ever have a normal job? Actually, yes. In New York, I'm from New York, born and raised. Um, I was a waitress, which I was actually excited about. I thought it was really fun to be a waitress. But then <clears throat> I got fired for trying to unionize the waitresses. I worked at the oldest bar in New York, um, I won't say the name because I don't want to be rude to the owner. But anyway, we didn't get paid minimum wage. We literally just worked for tips. And one day I worked a 12-hour shift and I only got six bucks. So I said to the owner, we need to do something about this. And he's like, no, Kether. So then I got all the waitresses together and I was like, let's sign a letter and like, we're going to do this. And then he called me up one day and was like, he's like, let's just call it a day, Kether. This isn't working out. And I was like, no, it's not. I just made... $5. Also, I worked at a rectory <laughs> when I was little. I went to a Catholic school and um, I would answer the phones for the priests, but no one calls the rectory. So to amuse myself, I would do different voices when I answered the phone. And that's how I realized I could do voiceover work. What is your spirit animal? <laughs> um, I would be a kangaroo because I think it would be fun to have a pouch and put your kids in the pouch. Oh, that's it. Thanks. 